Hello, hello, hello. What we got there? Here. Here. What we got here then, yeah? Let me just quickly go. For some reason, the visibility is set to private. Let's make it public, please. Thank you. Save. Done. Let's go. Let's uh, let's have some fun. So, jumped onto Mid Journey, created this uh, concept piece of art. Let's say, uh, rotate X ninety degrees. All right. So this is what we're going to be kind of going for. I don't know. I so this is kind of like a sci-fi mining outpost. Um, so yeah, I do like the orange tinge. I like the blue go. 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 Oh, the blue go. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can create. So let's start off. Delete default cube. Do I have landscape add-on? I sure do. All right, from here, I'm going to press Fn. Uh, do I have presets? I have presets. So we're going to go for maybe like a canyon. Okay, so nice deep canyon. That works quite well and so if we're kind of looking at it we've got this cliff face here we could probably just kind of like dig a hole there so let's go subdivide 200. Mm. let's maybe subdivide it up to 500. i'm sorry computer 500 and then that's just going to give us a little bit of extra uh, details um let's see how bad this bad boy is bad that's fine so let's maybe scale it up by 10. Uh, still fairly small. Scale it by another 10. And there's our picture. If I go GZ, let's just kind of expand it because we're going to be working on a very big scale. Uh, the camera, please. So to bring the camera to kind of like the view that I'm at, Control, Alt, Numpad 0. Yes, sick. Uh, let's now go ahead and increase the camera depth length. 10,000. Oh, we don't need 10,000. Let's just do 1,000. All right. Cool beans. Now let's go ahead and just kind of like align this camera up. So some... Whoop, too far. Something almost like this. And I'm almost semi-thinking we might go ahead and put some mountain ranges behind us as well. But this is going to be kind of like the primary area that we're going to focus on. All right. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, can you guys hear that music? Yes, it's coming through, I assume. All right. Terry, welcome, buddy. Always a pleasure to see you. All right. So this is what we're going to be kind of building I do like it, so let's just go ahead and block it out, shall we? No music. Oh, la poop. Settings, stream, I can't change, output, audio. So that means I've been having no audio for who knows how. Oh, you stupid donkey. How bizarre. Well, I've got music playing, and well, that sucks if you guys can't hear it. Cow, welcome. But missed the landscape add on yet. This comes, oh, so it's a free one that comes with Blender. No music. Yeah, it's more uh, to defeat the pauses. Well, I'm just going to stop the music then. And let's, uh, let's just focus and work that later. Uh, so yeah, so edit preferences. If you just type in ant, if you type in landscape, there we go. So that's this add-on here. It's the ant landscape. So that comes with Blender by default. One aspiring artist, welcome buddy. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna roughly semi-block this out. Um, I might... Just kind of grab that O for a proportional editing tool. And then I'm just going to kind of just, let's just bring it down a smidgen. And we're just going to terraform. So I'm just using the proportional editing tool. 
Uh, I don't like that one there. Let's bring that down a little bit. Noise. Um, while we're here, let's go ahead, shift left click. I am going to add in a cube. And so this here is going to be kind of like our atmosphere. Uh, so let's go into shading. Let's press control S just while we're here. Move that, move that. Um, this will be our volume. Well done with the caps lock. Volume. Delete that one. Shift A, search scatter. Volume scatter. And we're just going to dump that one in there. And when we come into here, let's come into cycles, GPU. Density will be 0.02. Why not? All right, that's that's pretty thick. 0.001 just for now. Um, let's come over into the world settings and we'll set that up. Shift A, psh, sky texture, dump that one into there. Whoop. All right. Um, the thing's a little bit too high. The 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 the, 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 the exposure. So I'm going to bring that down to maybe 0.1. And so now that's given us that. All right, let's get rid of this light because the light is not what I wanted. Um, but so what we're going to have from here, mm, I kind of want something a little bit dusky. So let's maybe bring this down to two. There we go. So now we've got kind of like this nice orange tinge um, with our volume cube, volume, whatevs we can change it to have a bit of a different color. So I'm going to go maybe a bit of an orangey color. And let's go 0 0.002. 0 0.02. Mm, not liking how that looks. Um, maybe what we need to do is in the world. So we're just trying to set it up just so we can kind of work with it. Let's move the sun around. Ooh, yeah, something like that. And I'm going to shift left click here, and then we're going to add in a light. There we go. Light, 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 area. Rotate X 180, GZ. And let's just make sure that it's actually above the ground. It is not. It very much is above the ground. What are you? Oh, idiot. All right, so just for now, let's get rid of our volume. Um, I am going to go 500. Uh, let's bump that up to an extra two zeros. That's a little bit too extreme. So let's bring that down to maybe just 5,000. The volume just isn't thick enough, is what the problem is. Maybe we'll bring down the... Oh, idiot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it's too dense. So it's interesting why... Ah, oh, because the light is blue. All right, so I'm just trying to get something a little bit started. So if we... It's not looking right. I am not believing in this at all. 0.01. Did you know that? I've, I've applied for it for Dali 2, but um, nothing's come through, which is uh, somewhat frustrating. I think that's okay. Look, let's just start going ahead, grab this. You can see that it needs to be more red. So I think my world is wrong. Um, let's try the other two. No, that looks like rubbish. No, that looks like rubbish. I guess we'll stick with this one. Oh, okay. Increase the dust. Nope. Increase the ozone. Ozone makes it blue. Air makes it a bit more orangey. Uh, let's bring this up to maybe 10 degrees now. And uh, throw some more dust in the air, some more air. We are losing quite a bit of defamation. defamation. Let's go with something 
Mm. I am not feeling this in the slightest. Let's go with something like that for now. And we'll just go from there. All right, so let's get rid of this and we're gonna just start working on creating some of these buildings. So let's go Shift S, Curse of World Origin. And then I'm just gonna block this out first. Uh, there are you. So there you are. All right, so from here, I'm gonna grab these two scale Scale Y zero, because we're going to have a bit of a triangle building. And that's what those kind of are. GZ, E to extrude. And we're just going to have these giant towers. How is that going to look? Uh, actually, we'll rotate, we'll go sh right click, set origin to geometry. So it's in here somewhere. And then let's go rotate. And then that'll just kind of make easier if I want to change um, the like orientation and all that. And so when we come back into modeling, I'm just going to press Alt R and that'll reset the rotation. Uh, rotate Z 90. That's how we kind of want it. However, I do want it a bit off into the distance over there. So something like that. Shift D, rotate, there we go. And that's gonna be there-ish. Can move it back maybe, off into the distance. Something like that. But here we've kind of got this um, kind of piece in here. Now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna select the camera and go into rules of thirds. So viewport, composition guidelines, thirds. And so I'm gonna try and make that point there to be the origin. Wally, welcome. Chilicon Graphics, welcome. Reapply with the same email surprise and they didn't check for that. Okay, I will I will try that after the stream if I am still alive and not slowly dying from exhaustion. Let's go something like this. And so because our building is going to come out from here, So, my, let's just go into layout, G, Y, Y, X, X. We're going to have something like that. And then that means that these buildings here will be higher. Uh, what we might do as well is shift D. And this is just for later on. Let's grab all this delete vertices. And then we're going to have kind of like a distant mountain range a little bit something like that but we'll come back and put that in later once we've got the materials set up for this one um they will be probably using a tutorial that i've created a while back um so if you haven't oi subscribe um so and we'll follow that same principle here okay i am fairly chuffed with that hopefully here we'll get a nice bit of depth Hiccups. So if we come into rendered view, hide volume, mm, I am not liking this volume at all. I'm not liking my shading. So the problem is, is my world. I've got too much air, I believe. And so that's screwing me over. So let's go 1.2 maybe. It's a little bit blue, quite a bit blue. But um, that's kind of what we're going for. It's just now it's all about getting that color right. Altitude, will that change? 800? No, I don't think that's gonna change. One, let's go maybe two. And that gives us a bit of red, but I am mean, liking, I think maybe we might just move away from the orange color. Let's just go with blue. I mean, I really like that. I like how we've got the contrast here of these buildings, probably here. Once we come in and start building this section and we create some, some point lights in there and such. Uh, why do you use models in the distance instead of cards? Well, 
I don't have a card to use at the moment. So that's why I'm just going to use a model for now. And I mean, you can just see how quickly just copy and rotated that around. So, I mean, this is ultimately just going to be a one-off thing. If I was going for an animation, yeah, I'd probably model something up, turn it into a card, and then that'll be rendering faster. So, but let's go ahead. I am going to be building up this first up. So let's go ahead. Uh, you hide empty. Let's have a look. What are we, what are we looking at this? So if I click on this and we come in, let's have a look. So we can see <coughs> what it looks like is the platform in here. And this is all the mining section in here. Um, I am going to draw some of this inspiration. So if we kind of have a look, we've got a bit of a square here and then we've got a bit of a plate coming through there. All right. So let's test this out. So what I'm going to do, if I go alt D GZ, oops, GZ, and then we go alt R. Now, when I come in and I start editing just this piece in here, uh, let's go like something like this. I can select this, delete faces, delete faces, and now we're editing both pieces. And so whatever I change up on this one, you can see it's applying down here. So I think this is what I'm going to go for. And then we'll grab this piece in here. Select buddy, select that. Shift D, scale on the Y. What is going to be the scale? Shift S, cursor selected. Oops. Vertices. Shift, shift A, cube. So that's a two meter cube. If I go scale 0.5, that's kind of like a one meter cube, but it's two. So let's kind of go off that. So I, I want something probably about 2.0. Oops, it's probably not high enough. Okay, period key. Let's zoom right in on that one. GZ. There we go. So that's kind of two meters there. Control L, GZ. And so this is going to be kind of like roughly the height of our floors. Nice. Uh, that building might be a good spot to use some of your 3D scans. Oh. <coughs> Boy, you are very right. I think I might dump that in there. I was going to model some stuff, but heck yeah, let's do that. So from here, I am going to select these two faces. Actually, we'll grab all these faces. I'm going to press I to do an inset and I again. Let's now go delete these faces. I'm going to select, hmm, how are we going to do this? Let's select this to top face. I'm going to delete vertices and we're going to come in, add modifier. We're going to go into a solidifier modifier. Orkly dorkly. And then from here, we're just going to increase that. Make sure we've got even thickness on. Lovely. And so if we come in, we can see how we're building up this platform. Whoops. Yeah, nice. I think this is probably going to have to come up to something like so. And if we go shift left click in here, control S, let's just save it. Um, and we're going to jump over into some of my 3D scans. Uh, scanned library, the Holden engine's not too bad. Jaguar, mm, I think we might go with the Holden. Because if we have a look, the Holden's got some nice cables in there. Um, just kind of like a nice, if you know what I mean, if that makes sense. So let's go control C, copy that, uh, bring it over into here, control V. Uh, let's go shift S selection to cursor. So it's in the right spot. Let's have a look. How's this going to look? I think that was a great idea, Terry. That's what I'm thinking. And if we do something like this, something like that, let's now go ahead and just clean off some of this beeswax. Wait, no, 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 no. 
Uh, I'm just going to grab that. Delete vertices. Oh, you suck. Control numpad plus. There we go. Let's try that now. Delete vertices. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is go C. And we'll just go straight through like that. Straight through like that. And we'll do the same on the other side. There we go. Delete vertices. And so now we've kind of got this massive get stuffed piece. Yeah, sweet. Good idea, Terry. Good job. Let's jump over. I think what we might do is get the Jaguar engine. How's the Jaguar looking? It's not bad. Let's maybe go the Riley, not the Riley. Let's go, we don't need a fire panel. The Holden's what we got. The something engine, which is some sort of Ford. I reckon we might grab this one. Go on, let's grab this one. And we are going to dump it in here. Uh, so I'll put all this up on Patreon probably tomorrow or the day after. Let's go like so. Let's go Shift S selection to cursor. G Zend. Da da da. And I just want to zoom in. Period key. What are you doing? Just go into layout, buddy. Period key. And so we're going to grab. I just kind of want this central section. So let's make sure we don't have the battery. And we won't have that bit there either. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Maybe we should just go box select. Beautiful. Let's go box select again. Delete vertices. And then that leaves us with this. That's not bad. I want to shift right click there. Shift S selection to cursor. And then we can kind of line it up. Rotate X. I just kind of want to get rid of the... The, 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 the what do you call it? branding is that the right way I don't think it's the right way rotate Z 180 so something like this that's that way and so we're just literally now laying Maybe what we can do there is let's just put a big, massive get stuffed pipe through there, and that'll kind of break up that silhouette. So let's do that. Shift S, let's go into cylinder, scale, rotate 90, that's fine. Let's just bring that out. Let's select the end pipe, period key. Oops, okay, how are we going to do this? Hang on. Thick, why are you in a weird angle? Numpad 5, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. The hiccupotham's going on. Alt G, sorry, Alt R. Alright, I've done something wrong, so let's delete that vertice and then we'll start again because it's not square. Rotate X. 90 degrees, rotate Z, 90 degrees. Let's select this face, G to the X. Select this face. There we go. And we'll go right about here. And then with the spin tool, we're gonna to come into Nyar. Let's kind of grab that. I think that's 90 degrees, I can't tell. 90, 90, there we go. So I was just looking down here. Uh, let's just go in solid mode. And we'll go E to extrude, bring that down. Let's go something like this. Um, um, let's line this up now, rotate something like so. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna grab this end plate and push it all the way down. And so what I'm hoping is that this pipe here covers a lot of this jazz. Which, you know what, it kind of, it does break it up. So maybe what we might do later on is just expand that out. Good job, Terry. 
I don't know how to drink. That's fine. It is quarter to 11 at night. <laughs> Let's go into period key. Um, we'll work out a material setup for this a little bit later. Maybe this is something, maybe the Riley engine can go into here. So let's jump over into 3D scans. Riley, Riley, and I want that radiator. So we jump into this, add wires. Of course I will be adding wires. Absolutely. Uh, definitely. So shift right click, control V, shift S, selection to cursor. Rotate Z, I'm gonna line it up like so. And then we're gonna have this kind of like massive get stuffed. Maybe something. Oh, that looks good. That looks schmick. Let's go from here. I'm gonna go into wireframe. See. That's pretty good. Delete vertices. Oh, got the hiccups. Uh, let's get rid of this back section. Something like that, delete vertices. And now when we come into here and we go into rendered view, that's kind of cool. Uh, we could probably bring it up even a bit because obviously we're not looking at this bottom bit. Definitely we're probably gonna come in and add some of the greeble pieces in here. And we're going to go ahead and probably find some rocks that we can throw on the top. Wouldn't look cool if that pipe went into the mountainside. Yes. Where is my pipe? Did I delete my pipe? What the heck? Where's my pipe? There it is. What are you doing, good sir? G-Y-Y. Cool. Cool. That's a uh, good job, Marco. You donkey, you deleted a pipe. All right. F. 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 Why are you not? Old H? F. Why is F not working? Because Shut up. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, no. Oh my goodness, Blender, come on. Stop being a Jerkosaurus. All right, let's try that again. E to extrude. And we're gonna go battling Blender now all night. Let's go there. Let's do a spin tool again. E to extrude, all right. So let's now go ahead and line this back up. No idea what happened, which is slightly uh, annoying. So now we've got this pipe in here. And I think what we actually might do, I think that's a really good idea, Terry, is maybe make something coming up the mountain. Uh, make some rocks. Absolutely, we'll be throwing in some rocks. I'll probably end up just using the Botanica add-on, which isn't enabled for some reason. I know why. Botanica full. Oh. No. Where? Why? Hang on. Don't tell me I gotta reinstall it. Uh, just going back, I'm trying to find 3D stuff, 3D assets. Botanica? Botanica. Accept. Do you work? Yes, sweet. All right, cool. We're in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. Let's go save. I don't know how many of you guys remember that. Uh, make some rocks. Are you sitting on DC? DC? Ah, right. what about a sci-fi train coming to this here? I do like that idea. That, to me, sounds pretty grouse. All right, so from here, I think we might have to steal that idea. Um, I am going to go shut up phone shift D Z and we're going to duplicate that up. Let's grab these points here and we'll go G to the X, bring it right back 
Uh, let's go ahead and probably create some sort of pylons now with the period with that verte vertice selected. Let's go E to extrude, E to extrude along the Z axis. Something like that. Control L, Shift D, X, because you have to remember that we have the uh, solidify modifier turned on. Shift D, Y. We're just going to keep doing that. Um, we could probably, by the looks of it, now we'll grab all this, G to the Y, make it a bit wider. Because obviously this is a little bit small, especially if we're using that cube. Um, are you sitting on DC, Discord? No, I don't think I'm sitting on Discord. So, all right. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. There we go. Let's grab, actually, we'll grab these two over here. This one and this one. Control L, Shift D, Z. And then that can be those pylons. Let's go ahead, shift D to the X, and we're just gonna be kind of blocking a lot of this out. Um, from here, I'm gonna go shift D, G, X, X. Let's go E to extrude along the X axis. Uh, from here with that selected, let's do a few edge loops. G, 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 G. GG, 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 GG. Control L, I to do an inset. Delete faces. And then we've kind of got that. That's looking not too bad, not too shabby. Control L, let's come to side mode. Something like this, noise. Why is this piece not straight here? Oh, that's why. Let's go Shift N. Make sure everything is facing the right way. So this area here is going to be a problem for us. So this is something that we're going to have to work out. Uh, so what we might do is just select there, here, here, and here. And we're just going to cut this away. V to rip. There we go. So that's now fixed that problem. How's it though? Hmm. semi fixed our problem uh, let's come into camera view and now we can see that this is starting to build up we will probably need to build some sort of paneling to cover this front area which is fine let's go ahead and I am actually just gonna go create a new plate G to the Z period key Ro rotate X 90 degrees scale on the Z let's go like so, right click, subdivide, subdivide. <laughs> Shift Q, control Q. Nope, no, 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 no. Shift S, control S. Shift Q, there we go. Let's go random panels. Uh, panel seed. I, no, I don't like that at all. So let's go Shift Q loop extrude I'm gonna grab this and that and that let's go 20 nope let's go 80 add that's the seed I need more loop cuts please something like that lovely jubblies uh, let's go f9 and I kind of want to make the like height difference. All right, I will try and check that out. Hang on, F9. Where is the option for max depth? Here we go. It's gonna have something like that, something like that. All right, let's 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 try that. That's a cool looking piece. We're going to grab all three of these. And that plane as well, please. G to the Z. And we're just going to try and line that up. Whoa, 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 whoa.
I do want as much of the radiator to come through as possible. So let's just have a look what it looks like in rendered view for now. And we'll just constantly check to see what that is looks like. That's not too bad. I don't like this red pipes. I think we need like a pipe to follow here. So let's go ahead and whew, I can remember this. I know that um, I have done it before. Curve, Bezier. Let's go select all. Delete vertices. I can do this. Um, curve pen. Draw. Draw. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Surface. All right. And then we're going to do a bit of an offset. And then I'm just going to literally just draw down. And now we've got a Bezier curve stuck on the face. So let's just go GX, GZ. And then what we're going to do is come into Nyar. Bezier settings, geometry. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then we're going to have these fat pipes. Oh, yeah. Wow. You can dance. Okay, so let's come onto this one. I'm going to select this. No, I'm going to select this. Jeez. Hey, GZ. Okay, that's fine. Um, while we're here, use my rope. Oh, fuck. I don't have your ropes. Yes, I got to find that rope. I know you sent it to me. It's in my chat. And I got to check one aspiring artist thing as well. Um, just bear with me. I do like this pipe. I think that pipe is looking schmick. What else? Fire, what was I going to do? Wow. You can dance. Wow. Uh, use some light. To yes, I completely agree. I'll be throwing that in there. Um, yeah, maybe we might even try and do an array on the bezier. Yeah, even though I suck at arrays, I'm gonna, probably going to have to go back and watch my video. The other thing... I think the big problem is, is I've got a lot of empty space up here. So what would, what, what would happen if we kind of went a little bit lower? So now we see more of this. We're going to have a foreground here. And then we'll just paint in some rocks and such. And then we're going to have these gigantic buildings. So definitely, if it was a little bit more of a night scene... We could sun elevation, let's go to zero. And then if I were to kind of come in light, I'm just gonna put a point light for now. Shut up. What would happen? What would happen if we went O G Z? And we just had kind of like this pit. You're taking an awful risk, Vader. Let's do that. G to the Z. We're just going to have this giant get stuffed pit. And then this pit in here. Let's bring that up to 5,000 watts. Uh, is my volume here. Forehead. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I've... Look, I already had a volume sitting in there. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, I initially did put a volume in there. Um, and I was arguing with it. I just... Just yuck. Ooh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, may I know what add-on is Shift-Q? That is... Let me just quickly get it. Wow. 
You're a dunce. Just give me a sec. I will find that add-on. That will be... I believe. That's this one here. Control V. That's that one. Alright, so hang on, I'm getting called forehead. I did spend far too long making it. <laughs> I got a new thing. Awesome. Always new things. Make more lighting. Make the lighting blue and you will have an orange teal. Yes. That's that's what I was mucking around with just then. Uh point light. Yeah, so we've kind of got something like that. And then probably off here on this back building, we'll make something there. So that's with the fog, without the fog. So it's looking okay. Let's go ahead and maybe, let's go layout. Uh, no, sorry, let's go back into shading. And this is what we're going to do. I am going to select that. N for Nelly. Let's go into extreme PBR combo. Let's come into rocks. We got lots and lots of rocks. Solid. Ooh. Ooh. All right, what's this one? Um, rock solid brown rock 009. Can I? Brown rock 009. Meh. Brown rock 009. Rock solid. Rock solid. Brown rock 009. There we go. All right. So from here, let's select that. New. This is going to be our uh, rock. Well, actually, this is going to be our ground. Control Shift T. Control C. Control V. Select all this jazz. Throw that in. And so now we're going to have this. Let's come in, scale it uh, 10, 10, 10. And so now this has obviously darkened the scene. I'm trying to see the... So I just want to know if there actually is a rock material on there. Doesn't look like it. I have a feeling it's a bit of an inkling that this is not UV unwrapped. It is not UV unwrapped. So let's go ahead and select this. U, project from view with bounds. There we go. And now when we come into layout, stop it. Let's come over into here. There we go. So now we've kind of got that rock material. Yeah, all right. Send it over. Jeez. Jeez, so vicious. Okay, volume blend. My goodness. All right, let's have a look. What's... All right, so I'm going to assume this is my volume. Volume at one, eh? Why are you killing my computer? Hang on, what? What have you done? I will come in. Oh, fire it. Sacre bleu. All right, let's uh, let's just quickly save this before Felicia kills my computer. Control V. I will come back and add that volume in there. Is he just going to slow me down? <laughs> All right. So I am a fan of how this is looking now. We're getting that really nice depth coming through. Um, what we will do is find a second material, probably be something lighter on top. Um, and I'm a fan maybe of this one. I'm going to assume that's 10, Brown Rock 10. So let's go back into shading. And from here, let's go like so. 
shift A, PB, principal BSDF, because I've been saying it wrong. Control shift T, and we're going to 10 this time. Wow, you can dance. Wow. Okay, so let's grab that. From here, we're going to add in a mix shader. Dump that one into there. Dump that one into here. And then we're going to go... Normal? No. Geometry? Position normal. There we go. And then we go... A split. Nope. X, Y, Z. Combine, separate. There we go. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. Separate. X, Y, Z. There we go. Is this how? No, it goes into a color ramp. Oh my goodness. I've got a tutorial on this. here and so what we're going for okay go away volume I don't need you right now if I bring this in and bring okay hang on let's let's do this color goes into there all right here we go so what we're doing is we're trying to separate kind of like so the black is kind of like the flat areas. Wow. All right, so I'm so sorry, computer. Can you not? I need more power. Yeah, right. So the reason why it's looking like this is because of the displace, I think. I reckon that's what the problem is. Oh my. So if we were to get rid of this displace, just out of curiosity, what would happen? There we go. So this is kind of like what we're after. And so when we come in to here and we throw the color in, we're going to see that we're going to have one color on top. We're going to have one color of rock on top. And then we've got this separate color. Let's just increase the UV on this one. I do think though, we're gonna have to add in that displace. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw in the displace. But what it's just gonna do is just add that little bit of extra kerfuffle. Yeah, I think, I think I'm down with that. It's a little bit stretchy, but I think that's okay. Just give it all she got, Captain. Where's Steven Scott when you need him? Reduce the volume steps, you reckon? Wow. We'll just dump it down to 32. That's right, we can come back. All right, I will. I am going to try Polygon Spawn Asset. Please have rocks. Do I have rocks? Limestone, what the heck is this? So I got a microphone right here, so I'm just trying to look over it. Okay, what, what does this do? What kind of rock is this? Okay, go away for a sec. Ooh, actually, that, that kind of suits in quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, well done. Put it behind so you can't see it, you donkey. All right, so this is kind of like going into Unreal territory. All right, let's kind of go like that. Shift D and then let's just kind of throw that around. Something like this. I think that'll look nice. Let's come in. 
Nice. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to quickly kind of throw it on. Let's go face, medium, align rotation. If I go G now and you suck. Why are you doing that? Ah, that's why. Shift D, hold control. And then we're just going to rotate and scale. And then I'm just going to quickly throw some rocks in there. And we might just move one to the foreground. Yeah, nice. I like that. Let's just check it out. And now we've got like very much these difference in rocks. Um, it'd be nice to maybe put some along there. So let's go shift D, shift D. We're not really seeing it. Uh, I am semi interested though. What happens if we rotate the sun a bit now? Let's go ahead, check that out. So sun rotation. I mean, now we're kind of moving away from the original artwork, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Hmm. Maybe something like that, I think. Oh, D. Oh, yeah. That, that would be pretty smart, wouldn't it? Okay, let's just go Alt D, G. Oh, stupid volume, go away. All right, so let's continue on. I'm just gonna keep dumping some rocks around. I know that if I go, oh, there is a tool where you can draw and stuff will happen. I know it exists, it's like scatter. Scatter objects, let's try this. I'm sorry, Blender, but I will abuse you as much as I can. All right, items, tools, object, scatter. Uh, how does object scatter work? I'm pretty sure, you kind of do a drawing tool. No. I'm uh, I'm just going to quickly go watch one of my tutorials. Because <laughs> um, I know it exists. Margum 3, 3D. Uh, go to YouTube. Uh, scatter. Scatter. It's an old video. This one here. Hello. Alright, shut up. Uh-huh. 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 Scatter objects. Uh, yeah. Go back. All right. Well, how'd you do that? Ah. Oh. Sweet. Okie dokie. Let's go now. Object. Nope. Let's go scatter. Select object to scatter and a target object. Okay. Did you do anything? I uh, hate you. Enter. Ah, maybe I should watch more of that tutorial. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, why aren't you spawning, you jerk? I think it's because it's not a local object, but it's a um this thing. So if I go. Gosh, let's just undo everything I just did. Please undo. Please undo. Ah, crud. I've done so. Oh, jeez, no. Collection. Anodote. It's not an anodote. Mmm, crud. Mmm, crud. Bezier curve. That's that. Ugh, what have I done? What have you done? I will work out later how to click. Well, I'm just going to go control list and save. File, open recent, mining outpost. <laughs> Done. <laughs> I'm a donkey. That's fine. 
So uh, let's, uh, I'm just going to, yeah, let's just throw some more rocks in there. All right. I am not going to touch that back there. I was hoping to kind of maybe even something like that. Routite. And then that kind of adds, yeah, just a little bit of pizzazzle here. Da da da. Da 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 da. What else? Good enough. Let's just go control S. I am just going to do a quick render. Let's go at 32 frames. 128. And then we pass now. What are we looking at? So definitely this pipe here, obviously we can connect it into something. And I think that'll look pretty grouse. I love these mountains off into the distance. So we'll make sure we copy that material over. Um, yeah, I'm fairly chuffed with that. What's the time? Quarter to, uh, quarter, but uh, having a stroke. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do is let's come into the top view. Let's go E to extrude something like, whoops, something like this. Let's now go GZ, rotate YY, okie dokie, rotate Y, GZ. Uh, you want to suck a lemon then? Fine. GZ, bring that back up. What the heck are you doing? Scale X, zero. Scale Y, zero. Are you, you're okay now? That's fine. All right, cool beans. Let's just go with something like that. Because that just adds a little bit extra. Let's throw on a concrete material. Uh, let's jump into... Where are we going? Uh, let's go into... I'm just thinking... Shut up! Yes! Go! Get stuffed! Content. Uh, this thing. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, suck a lemon. Sorry, I can't see chat at the moment. I'm just looking at the secondary screen. I did a fluff. Copy. All right, so I'm going to be... This is all this kind of jazz. Is I'm using uh, the Nexus PBR material combo, whatever it's called. And so that's what I'm using at the moment. Do I go concrete or do I go metal? I am feeling... Technically, it should be a metal. But then if I go like a metal... It would have to be something like super yuck. I always feel like that one there. Ooh, that one's interesting. Okay, what metal is this? Metal. Metal 17. So let's jump over into metal 17. Metal. Metal. Okay, 2K metal 17. Control C. Uh, from here, let's go over into shading, back into object, new, oh, and this is going to be metal red. Control shift T, control V, select all, principal shader. Sick. Let's go into rendered view and we'll see what that pipe looks like. Hmm. It looks okay. I'm down with that. Um, this here, this system, I need probably like a nice dull metal as well. So maybe that one there. What's that? That is metal 15. And we will select that new. And this is going to be metal underscore frame. Control shift T. Control V. Come on. Select all that. Principal shader. Cool. I like the looks of that one. Um, from here, 
I think we might just go, let's go into a point light. And let's maybe, actually, maybe we'll go into an area light. GZ. Something like that. Uh, I'm not too keen on this. Scale it. But we'll check it out. 500. Yeah, it's not really going to do anything. 50,000. 10,000. Which is it. That's not too bad, I think. All right. Well, let's let's take that idea. Let's come back into layout. Let's go into cube, cube, G. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's be lazy. Let's jump over into the Millennium Falcon file that is available on the Patreons. Short film simpler. Nope, wrong one, buddy. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Where am I? F, F, studios, nope, studios. Mining post Falcon. That one. Bam, bam. Sure is another Sunday session at 20 past 11, almost midnight. Let's grab this one and this one and this one. Control C. Don't save. Control V. Did. Yes, sweet. Sick. All right. This one here, I want you to come Alt D, hold control, G to the Z. You can come up something like that. And then let's go ahead. All right, let me just move this building out of the way now. Shift D, rotate, Shift D. Ah, you jerk. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe that's why it's crashed because I got everything open. All right, it's okay. It's all right. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Uh, I don't remember my last save was. Whatever. All right, let's go file, auto recover, auto saves. Twenty-two. <laughs> Nope. Auto save. Volume. Nope, that's that one. Uh, auto save. Engine, engine, mining post. Ooh. 72 meg. Jeez. All right. Let's go back to what I was doing then. G. And then let's go into full screen. Let's now go back into another edition of Blender and we'll open up the Falcon. Mining outpost, no. 14, Falcon. There we go. Control C, get out, don't save. Skedaddle, Control V. Soove. Hold Control, please. There we go. So luckily enough, Cool. And then we'll go G, hold control, tab into edit mode, select everything, G to the Z. Because, I mean, no point in redoing all... What? what? Why is there no materials? Did I not put any materials on that? You donkey. No, that's fine. Yep, sweet. Let's go with that. Uh, control S to save, Shift D, Shift D, Alt D, Alt D, Alt D, Alt D. Let's rotate, 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 rotate. I don't really care that they're like that. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, baby.
How does that look? That's not bad. Uh, just... Swanling Falcon. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just crack open that file. So if you don't follow me on the Insta, go jump on the Insta, because uh, I do post most of the renders on there. And so this was the uh, the Falcon photo, Falcon render. Um, and there's a time-lapse video on my channel of me doing this from start to finish. It's an old version though, but it still works. Anyway. All right, so that's looking pretty suave. I do like that. We will need to do something on this interior. So maybe what we'll do is create some sort of like junction panel or something. Um, let's change that to metal frame. What's that? Oh, you can be a metal frame as well. Then I'm assuming there'll be another one. Oh, okay. Suck a lemon. Um, I'm just going to press Control S save. Let's go volume and then press F12 and we will check it out. It's all right. It's looking okay. Look, it's not bad. Oh, that rock. Idiot. That rock there sucks. So let's fix him up. Mate, I don't know what you're doing. But uh, you can go a little bit into the mountain. G, hold control. Snap, GZ. What the? Oh, idiot. G, hold control. There we go. Nice. So I've got rocks on top of rocks. We've got rocks. But anyway, welcome MTO Creations. Welcome. Uh, for those of you who haven't joined us, oh, thank you very much. Don't know what that was. Uh, let's not do that again. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, losing the plot, but that's fine. Uh, um, now I've lost my train of thought. Now, one thing looking at this mid-journey picture, I do like how there's lots of like little lines. So let's go ahead and maybe create something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually probably just going to go shift left click. Let's add a plane. Uh, we'll go rotate Z, we'll just line it up. Let's go rotate X, X, 90, 90, scale J to the Z, G, something like that. Let's go subdivide, 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 subdivide. From here, I am going to go deselect. Nope. Okay, let's go random select. Down here in the action, I'm going to go deselector. And I want like 0 0.05. I want 0 0.95. 0 0.98. Delete faces. Oh, you donkey. Control I delete faces. And let's let's just try this. I'm gonna go put in a green light. Oh actually let's go yeah, let's go light underscore green. Change that to emission. And then we're gonna go into a bit of a limey colour. Oh, see, this is the thing though, it's not working because the scale won't be right if you hear what I'm cooking. So yeah, if we come into the kind of like this view, uh, let's go 50. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, add some levels in front. Yeah, I think you're right with that one. 
I feel, you know what I feel like? What if we went subdivision surface on this puppy and then they kind of become circles? I think that semi looks a bit better rather than squares. You reckon the blue? I mean, look, let's let's try blue. Hmm. So one of the things I was working on, maybe even yellow. Uh, let's do F12. It might look a little bit different with the volume there. <laughs> thank you thank you um see, so that doesn't look too bad i do yellow all right let's go uh, let's layer one layer two let's go green what i was initially thinking and then we can flick through them do we go green light red light orange light yellow light all right, it's 11.30, losing the plot. It's all right. She'll be right, mate. Oh, yeah? All right, so we've got green light. Orange light, green light. The other thing as well, well, what if, what if this is a yellow light? And we drop this to maybe only 5,000. 1,000? Blue light? Uh, and then we turn on our volume. So... I'm thinking more of a yellow light I think would be nice. And then we've kind of got those separate tones. So we've got our green and our eyes are straight looking at this green um, with this tower in the background. I think we're just going to have like pipage galore going up. And I think that's multicolored, you reckon? Harry Potter! Uh... <laughs> So, so it's like 11.30 at night. I, I'm actually drinking pre-trainer. So it's, yep. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be bouncing off the walls for a bit. But that's fine. Um, and I've always drank a liter of it. Okay, so, multicolored. I mean, yeah, we could. Let's, well, let's try it. Uh, so with not the volume selected, can we just have those lights selected? Let's go add in a second material. We're going to go light and we're going to go yellow. Uh, you become principal yellow. That's green. That's yellow. Let's go into 50 and then we can select everything. And then we go select random. And let's go 0 0.3. We're just going to select a sign. Is there enough contrast between the two colors? I don't think so. Maybe if we come over into an orangey color, maybe that might look a little bit better. Is that like Aussie Red Bull? No, that's... Uh, no, 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 no. This is... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it ain't... It ain't it's, uh, it's a little bit stronger than Red Bull. Let's just... Let's just... Let's, let's just put it that way. All right, multicolored lights does seem quite a bit better. So let's go with that. Um, I am feeling... Maybe we could probably put a light down here somewhere. So just in front of the radiator... So if we go shift right click. <coughs> um oh gosh. Adult beverage. 
Not alcohol. It's not alcohol. I don't drink. I do not drink at all. What am I doing? Shift A. Let's come into a light volume. Volume. Light. Let's come into an area light. Rotate on the Z. Rotate on the X. Stupid volume. Can you not? G. GZ. Let's go rotate X 180. And then from here, we will go into maybe a blue color. Let's go up to 5,000. I do, nope. 500,000. Uh, do we go into maybe an orangey color? Ooh. I mean, what's digging? It's not bad. Do, oh, do we? Okay, go away. Do we? We'll go work on this background piece now. Shift right click. I am going to add in an area light. Rotate XX 180. Rotate XX 180. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make like a very nice glow coming from below 5,000. I mean, it's all in a day's work. It's not bad. I mean, it looks okay. Why, uh, did I just lose a whole bunch of people? No, okay. It's not bad. Like you look at it, we've got a nice strong glow down the bottom. So what I'm thinking is let's grab that. And we've got another piece over here and we're gonna do the same. That one's not as strong, which is probably because it's underground. Sorry, just hearing things. Losing the plot. Either or, what else? That doesn't look too bad. I reckon we might get rid of this top section. Why? I'm assuming that's in front of a rock or something. Oh, it's too high. Okay, volume, down. I think, I think, I'm like what I'm looking at, yeah? You know what I mean? I think it looks delish. Okay, volume, be gone. Let's, I am gonna get rid of this thing. Control L, whoops, Control L, delete vertices. And I think that's just gonna look, uh, the light on the tower looks hot, hot, hot. I think so as well. Uh, the angle at the top having zero light kind of feels weird though. I think, I think, you know what I mean, yeah? I think. <laughs> that I'm an idiot. Um, I reckon that once we start putting in some pipeage up these towers, so let's do that now. I am going to go uh, Alt D. Let's go Alt R. All right. I got to find a video tutorial. Um, pipes. There is a free add-on. Darn it. Pipe? No. Uh, 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 uh. It's like free add-on. This one. Pipe Nightmare. Do I have this one installed? I think I'm going to have to go here. So I am referring to this video. Control V. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this. Hasn't been updated for two years. Let's try it. Uh, download zip. Zip. A whopper bug zapper. Edit preferences. Install. Downloads. Pipe mare. 
uh, how does this work? Let's uh, let's just quickly go have a look at my own tutorials. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. As I do that, curve pipes. Oh my goodness! How easy is that? So shift right click, A mesh curve pipes. <laughs> All right. Pipes region width is going to be like this. Region height is going to be like this. Maybe a bit more. Uh, sorry, I can't see chat at the moment. Oh, okay, that's max. Let's come back into the live stream. Um, pipe, straight pipes. I want like 80% straight pipes. What the heck is that? Bezier split pipes. Actually, let's go on, split it up. Pipes? I want 50 pipes. I just want a bucket ton of pipes going up. X length. Mm, let's go point 0.1 on the X length. Nice. Max, yes. 0.5. I want as many pipes going up and down. Uh, thickness, I'm going to go 0.1 minimum. And let's go 0.5. Oh. It uh, did not like that. Should have saved. Should have saved. Should have saved before I was crossing the streams. Don't uh, do this to me. No. No. You missed the passing of the pipes. I returned. Uh, we are using Pipe Nightmare and it is nightmaring my machine. It is screaming out in pain. My autosis. Why? And I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you're loud. I like standing up. It's quite nice. I just had to work out a way to uh, do my green screen. Yeah. Oh, you suck. I can't tell. I don't... Let's let's just maybe check out Task Manager. Are you doing anything? Are you actually working? Uh, <laughs> anything CPU? I can see these guys are getting a little bit upset. <laughs> Wait for it to respond. Five. Anyway. Uh, is it a sit-stand desk or you just rearrange studio? Yeah, sit-stand desk. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So before, I used to have this glass desk. Hated it. But my wife was like, no, no, no. You got to keep it. Uh, my Ryzen's bigger than your Ryzen. <laughs> right here. <laughs> so, this machine's got a Ryzen 7. My other machine has a Ryzen 9. However, I've had a lot of problems with it. Um, but that's got the 1080. This has got the 3080. So technically, that one's got a better CPU. Now, I bought a pre-built machine. So I bought a pre-built machine. This one here, purely for the fact so I can have a... Uh, so I can have a warranty on it. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right. Let's go with that. Um, and that was the big thing that I really wanted, just a warranty, because if if the thing breaks, the heck, what's, what's this jargon? Um, yeah. If the machine breaks, I need like a working machine. I don't have time to kind of um, fluff around to try and get it fixed. Right, I'm just going to quickly delete these things. Uh, oh, what? So yeah, that's why I built... I bought a pre-built machine. Like, probably not 
not this year, but the year after, I will be buying a new machine. So I'm going to try and get a new machine every two years, especially because my of what I do during the day. Um, but yeah, virtual memory on the 3080, I'm actually hitting the roof when I'm using Omniverse, which is uh, slightly annoying. Select all that, Control J to join. So now that's all one. And if we go now, All right, all right, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, let's just go Control S to save, and let's go full screen. Okay, so I've got, I've got an idea. We are going to go something like this. Let's go Shift D, and then I'm going to go maybe something like that. Let's go Box Select, Control L, Delete Vertices. Let's go like this, let's go Control L delete vertices, which is going to be probably all of them. So that's not very smart, is it? Let's go something like this. Control L delete vertices. It's not really working. Maybe we just kind of something like that. And then what I'm going to do is with this face here, let's do an eye to do an instant. Let's maybe select this whole area. I to do an inset. I to do an inset. Uh, from here, we're going to come up to the top individual origins, E to extrude, and they're going to go in like so. All right, so the plan is, this is my plan. The plan is, is to have these like sick pipes, okay? Am I you shit here? Oh, geez, what's your... I can't even remember your catchphrase now. All I know it's yelling. <laughs> Shift S, cursor selected. Uh, Control S, let's save. Let's come into there. Shift D, rotate Z, 180. Select these both. Shift D, rotate 90. So now what we've got is we've kind of got this tower. Let's select these four sides and we're going to go convert to mesh control j to join and so now we've kind of got this building so if we come over into here we've now got kind of like a tower of pie pinch oh look at that oh my goodness oh my goodness that's sick okay all right okay no no ideas okay okay i got this so let's come into here. No, no, there. Period key. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. P, separate by selection. Uh, let's select this inner faces. There we go. What I'm going to do now is go Alt S. No, scale shift Z ever so slightly. Let's put in... Can I merge by distance? I sure can. Okay. <laughs> merge. By distance, increase, nice. So that's our square. And then if we put edge loops like this, select that, right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Let's now, are they equal? Ah, they're semi-equal, that's fine. Let's go random, select random, deselect, deselect, 0.98 delete faces control i delete faces so that means we've got these so from here what we can do is we can come back in and go that yellow light it's a little bit further away um ooh, let's mm, control j to join you're taking an awful risk vader and then we'll come into here let's come into the Undo. Let's go to materials, assign it to the second one, light, yellow. The first one can be, maybe it needs to be some sort of maybe concrete color, I reckon. But just for now, let's go metal frame. Uh, and then, so now if we go F12, I don't know, let's have a look. Save, save, yes, let's save. Control S as it's rendering. Whew. 
Oh, you idiot. Alright, so... I've done something wrong. It's fine. It's alright. I can cook with gas. Uh, let's go... C. Select everything. Control L. Hide. So that leaves us with... What have you done, you donkey? Alright. Because I didn't join him. That's fine. It's alright. We'll cook. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Control S. So, one thing that I've stuffed up is Alt H. Control L, Control I, hide. And what I've done is I deleted these faces. So let's go F, 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 F. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. And I stuffed up. The, oops. Selected the wrong ones. Can you not, please? Let's select that one. And that one. F. Then we'll select this one. And this one. F. Alright, so if we come back in and select these ones in here. Scale, Shift, Z. There we go. So it's just above. Control, J to join. All right. Okay. Oh, right. You idiot. Okay. It's cool. It's okay. It's okay. We got this. Let's now. Okay. <laughs> That's why. So the problem is, is that I'm a numpty. I don't know. Make sure it's sitting behind the pipes. There we go. So that should be a bit better now. Let's now go control J to join. And then we go into rendered view and we should hopefully have a whole bunch of, oh. mm. That's not bad. Let's just wait for that to come through. All right, let's have a look. Uh, Blue Ways, do you have a tutorial on creating these magnificent pipes? I sure do. It is this video. It's a little bit of an old video, but it still works. It's an old code, but it still checks out. So something needs to be happening up here, I think. What we could do even, so if we come into the volume, we can see that we've kind of got, it's, it is fairly dark. So maybe what we might do is come over into film. Let's turn up the exposure to 0.3. Nope. 0.2. Nope. 0.1. Yeah, it's fine. Kind of works as a nighttime scene. So let's kind of go with that. What are we gonna do with this roofing section? I say, I say, good says, hmm, canaries. Let's kind of, let's put an edge loop through here. Let's go control B. Uh, from here, shift D, alt S, something like that. Let's just go P separate by selection. Oh, I should have done this first. Dang it. Just thinking what's the best way. Mm, you know what? Let's just go into new material and this is going to be our glass and I'm just going to turn up the metallic specularity up and the roughness down. And so that should hopefully, uh, I got to apply the material to it. I don't know why I called it glass, but whatevs. Yep, that's fine. Uh, maybe what we might do is with this model, interesting. Let's go something like this, control B to do a bevel. And I'm just gonna go E to extrude, Alt S. Alt S, nope, the other way. And so now we've kind of got this piece going through there. I'm just trying to break it up the silhouette a little bit. 
And this, I think this would be interesting what it looks like. Uh, let's turn on that volume. I mean, it's all right. Let's go ahead now. Shift D, A. Rotate, delete, G to the Z. Something like so. Where's that back landscape? There it is. Uh, let's now go delete on the back landscape because obviously we've got our materials all set up. And let's go tab into edit mode. C. Uh, control, control numpad plus. Make sure we've got everything selected. Delete vertices. And then we can kind of bring that up. Control S, let's save. Move that out of the way. I don't know. Let's have a look. All right, what's going on? The roof of that building is great for placing antennas with... Ooh. I do like that idea. I didn't press F12. Hey, Marco, how about you press F12, you donkey? I do like that idea antennas. Pez won't swear to this, but I think... Yes. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, so Ryzen 7 in this machine, Ryzen 9 in that machine, but that one's got the 1080, this one's got the 3080, and the reason for that is this one here that I work on is a pre-bought machine. Ooh. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not bad. Let's, I will rotate this one. What if, what if, what if I go like this and we go depth of field on poly? How's that going to look? Did it, did it do it? Are you poly? You're poly. Uh, let's kind of maybe rotate that around. Just seeing why. Is this blocking the sun? I wouldn't say so. Uh, camera, camera. Uh, 1.2. Cause I was kind of hoping to get these foreground rocks out of the way. Like a little bit more of a, the blur side. They still seem pretty crisp. We're obviously at the back. We do have that now. Uh, the other thing I'm considering is, go away, this light here, maybe we change that to a blue color. And that'll help that building stand out a bit. But it can't be as strong, so maybe we'll go into a thousand. No, I think, I think it does need to be in that yellow, 5,000. That's, uh, that's 50,000, buddy. Good try. No worries, you're welcome. Oh, far 
gemacht. Shift D. Äh, Shift S, Cursor to Selected. Let's go Shift S, Selection to Cursor. Then we're going to kind of guesstimate it back on. Was the that didn't come out. <laughs> I really need to sneeze. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Let's have a look. Yes. 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 Uh, what? If, wonder if there was a light glowing. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that's. It's just being lost, and that's no good. So let's go ahead and maybe create some little antennas. Uh, so let's just go shift it, oh, control S. Let's come over into here. Oh, I know. Let's open up Blender. What's digging? And I made an awesome radio tower in the Falcon. And that's these pieces. Control C, go away. Control V. Let's go G. Rotate X, X. Rotate X, X. Or rotate XX. Alright, we're gonna suck a lemon, buddy. Alright, so let's kind of go like that. And then we go like that. Something like this. Rotate X. I'm gonna try and line it up. Rotate Y. Scale on the Z. So that's a great idea. Heck yeah, look at those antennas, baby. Where's the material? Check out the material, Rainbow Clay. Yeah, that's what it's. All right, that's that's pretty schmick. Let's go and just uh, I'm gonna add in a point light. And it's going to be red. Uh, okay. Nope. That's not going to work. So how about we do something like select this face here. This face. This face. E to extrude. Control numpad plus. Create a new material. New material. Light. Uh, let's go duplicate. And this one's going to be red. And you can be red. Uh, how about we click a sign? Hot. 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 <coughs> Too bad it's out of random. <coughs> Killing myself. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll delete these now. And then... I'm, I'm fairly chuffed with that. So let's go something like this. Okay, Shift D. Can you just kind of get in the tower, please? Yeah, like that. Shift D, and we'll put another one in there. Let's now go Shift D, hold Control. Oh, gosh. Let's go period key YY, X rotate yy xx so we've got something like this shift d whoops silly marco whatevs put a nice big one in there save let's press it let's press render no no i oh idiot f12 bam bam you suck it's too small It's all right. It's okay. We will see what it looks like. Ah, yeah, boy. I do think let's, you know, what, let's just bump it up. 500. I think it's going to be more of a bright white because it's too much. No, let's do it. And then we might, we might call it a night. I'm fairly chuffed with how this looks. 
It's first of August. Okay. Oof. Okay, we've got a bit of a uh, fireflies through there, so I think maybe the five hundred. Good job, good job. Who, uh, who, 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 who? Had a bit of light for the second town. Oh, where's my, where's, where's, where's the antenna man? Len, you still around? Yes, you did call it. Beautiful, gorgeous. I do like it. The only problem is, what's my point of interest? Like all this, you know, this pipe kind of points me into this section. So I'm going to say that this here is my point of interest. And then we've got these leading lines kind of going this way. So really kind of like this radiator. I think that there should be something in here. But you know what? You're done. It is midnight. Doing Graham's character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding dong. Uh, just give me a sec. Oh, no, stuff it. I think if anything, it would be a mining train leaving, or that would be the station, I reckon. Crane, oh, crane. Uh, have your composition set as make a leading line from the bottom left to the right, then to the center bottom. Bottom left to the right, then to center. Oh yeah, I hear what you're putting down. I mean, yeah, we are I'm down with that. Let's let's try something. I'm going to try something. Control S. Let's save this. Quite possibly could break this. I have an idea. F. Uh, M. Library. Sci-fi ships. Not this. Oh, the Dreadnought's nice. Um, is it this one? Let's have a look. Is this the one that I'm after? Oh, that's a... No I love this ship. I think this is one of my favorite ships that I've ever created. But that is not the one I'm after. The Dreadnought is that one. Sci-Fi Heli is that one. Sci-Fi Transport Ship Large, I believe, is the one I'm after. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Control. C. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Control V. Uh, I'm just going to move that off to the side for now. And Shift S cursor to select it. Let's go Shift A. I'm going to add in a empty cube. Scale. Why are you not in the center? Shift S cursor to select it. Shift A. Let. <laughs> it on. All right, beautiful. Control P, parent object. Okay, it's okay. All right, and now we can move that around. All right, we got this. Okay, you ready? You ready? Because I'm semi not ready, but we will try and see if this works. And then this will kind of give us a bit of scale. mirror modifier and then I'm going to select all this control L P separate by selection we got this rotate XX nope rotate YY down 
Let's grab some of these containers. Shift D, hold control, scale. All right, all right, we got this. Okay. Nope, no, 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 F12. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see. Does it blend? I'm so sorry, computer. Okay. No, it's too small. I think, I think we need it bigger. I think that's what it is. Scale. I reckon that's what it is. And now we've got a ship. There we go. And then this is now, do we put it here? All right, so if we go look at our rule of thirds, I've got a third here, I've got a third here. And that's why I was thinking maybe, maybe even here, but. I kind of go like that. We try to make something special, you know. Ooh, e, ooh, ooh, ah, what a, what a, bing, bang, ooh, ow. Why is this so bright over here? Did I stuff something up? Something seems bright. Oh, I, okay, hang on. It could be, let's just check. All right, so there's no lights in the front of this one, so that's fine. But it just seems really bright here. Did I add in a sun? Area lights. Sun lamp. Delete. Bam, bam. Okay, now. The coloring would blend with the kit bashing at the lower location. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, maybe. I think, I think, Terry, you might be right. You know what I mean? But I think that this image is looking delightful. If you know what I mean. I reckon this needs to go here. And then, because then we'll have the spill of this light onto that ship. I reckon that's where it needs to go. Let's just go control S. I'm just gonna save that. Uh, let's just move all these out of the way. G, just plop them over there, go away. I reckon, I reckon that's what it needs to go. I think it needs to go like this. I don't know. I don't know. You know? I don't know. Do you know? Oh. All right. So, anyway, because we're... Um, the problem is, is you can't see what this is. I almost feel that there almost should be kind of like a light an area light here shining like this uh, and it would need to be yeah like a bit of a yellow light maybe 200 watt Oh, 
I would say so as well. I think, I think so as well. That there needs to be, yeah, definitely. Uh, and for those of you, yes, so we've been using this ship quite a few things, in quite a few things. Um, so if you haven't already, I will go, hey, subscribe, do it. Because uh, a lot of the things that I'm doing right now is... Don't, 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 don't. Oh, crud. Uh, is quite a few tutorials that I've already done. Whew. Um, e to extrude. Did I just extrude it? Okay. E to extrude. Let's select all. And then I'm going to go ahead and deselect every second one. One, two, four, Uh, All right, let's go landing pad. Sorry for being silent. Pad, uh, light, uh, fifty. 10. Yeah, so I'm, so this is the thing like, cause I've been playing so much Star Citizen. Like with the landing pad, you can't really have lights all the way around because of the way the ship comes in. But I think, I reckon I can get away with that. I think it's too much here now. I think Tom, you might be right. And I'll, mm. I think the ship maybe needs to be here. And then we've got these leading lines. We've got the pipe that goes into here. So I think that's this is probably, we're almost done. We're almost done. You're done. Tom was right. Tom was right. Tom was right. Tom was right. Because, yeah, there we go. So if we kind of have it here. Yeah, I think that's much better. Uh, how about we bring these cubes down? Tom will always be right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I got Marcus got to start finishing up. It's 20 past midnight and I got work tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. I'm done. I could add more, but I'm not going to. No, 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 no. I'm going to leave it as is. So, hang on. Let's just go. Hang on, hang on. So, let's go file, save as. So this copy here will be for the Patreon. All right, so that'll go up on Patreon probably tomorrow, which it already is. File, save as. This one will be the completed one. Uh, I am currently on 3.2. Okay. I think this is what it needs. It needs some people. I think, I think, I think, right? I think that's what we need. Mm. You're done. Oh, 
Marco, you should have went to bed an hour ago. Alright, so while that's loading, bear with me. Wada wada bing bang. Ooh ah. Ooh ee. Ooh ooh ah. Wada wada bing bang. Ooh ah. Come on. Baby, come back. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go. File. 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 You can do it. Do I have two blend files open? I sure do. So let's get rid of that one. Uh, file. Recent projects. Open project. Do I have Scruffy? Ha! <laughs> throw the lich on there. Let's go open. And we're going to throw a helmet on the... Ah, oh, do we? Here you go. We'll throw a helmet on. Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, ah. What about a bing bang? Mm-mm. Gone down some, could have gone around town, could have drowned him in a sugar coat, a lot of blood, hip, should have hip through the shroud, I'm off me, thank you. Okay, so while that's loading, bear with me. So, I am currently using Character Creator. Click on that. Just do it. Just click on it. Let's come over into here. We want to go into clothing. Other. I don't know where this is. Full body? No, I am looking for a helmet. No. 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 Where are you? Where is she? <coughs> Almost there. Full body. Come on. Come on. Is it under hats? Hair? It's not under hair, is it? Are you a hat? Head. Battle mech series. Here we go. Brute male. There you go, mate. Have a helmet. Beautiful. Okay, file. Export. Uh, clothed character. We go into Blender. Uh, we just want the mesh. Delete hidden faces. Merge. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're going to go export now. Shut your pie hole. Let's go into here. I'm just quickly saving it. We are in the mining outpost. And we will call this um, character. <laughs> Very original to call it a character. Can you tell me about your system requirements like RAM? Um, I've got like only 32 gig of RAM. So I got 32 gig of RAM, Ryzen 7, and I got a 3080. There, 3080. 26 gig. Huh. All right. So let's jump over into here. Shift right click. Uh, what are we doing? So come over into the character creator. Import character, please. Do not break. Do not break. Do not break. You suck if you break. You suck. You suck. Uh, uh you suck. You can do it, Blender. I believe. What the? Oh. <laughs> All right. So <coughs> from here, let's jump into Auto Rig Pro. There we go. We're going to go into Quick Rig. Couch Creative Blush. Shut up. Quick Rig. Neck Twist. Preserve Volumes. Okay. And so by using Auto. Well, uh, that made me a liar, didn't it? Let's try again. Maybe you want to be this one. Okay. Quick rig. Oh, maybe I haven't updated the add-on. I think that's what the problem is. No. No, I haven't updated the add-on. The heck is this? Ah, what ifs. Alright. Uh, let's go G, hold control. Period key, rotate, XX, 180. Scale. And we'll just manually do it. Okay. Pose the character. Hide. Uh, rotate Z. Rotate XX. Oh, no, this sucks. 
let me just quickly jump over onto my blender market and I gotta download the update blender market oh yeah I've got something in my cart what do I got oh that one. yep okay um, let's go into my orders order let's go into quick so for quick rig go to downloads please yes please download the latest version let's go quick rig remove remove install please work i can't see chat because i oh my goodness it's almost 12 30. what is wrong with me okay Ooh. advanced skeleton okay yeah shut up quick rig okay yeah suck a lemon where'd you go nope that uh that did not work oh why why are you sucking anyway execute order 66 pretty much all right let's uh i'm just gonna manually pose him then fine i'll just pose him manually hide all right let's try and do this as quickly as possible because let's go something like that not that one hide this one nope not that one hide something like that uh not that one i need this bone that is this leg so that means that that's a twist bone far out can you stop right leg right leg <coughs> cool it's oh, beautiful oh, i'm just trying to pose this character hurry up hide because the way these characters are rigged nope that's a twist bone this bone this bone actually oh whatever it doesn't really matter I know you're a little bit El Gato of Mr. Roboto. Let's grab all them. Individual origins. Rotate XX. We're not really going to be seeing it. Something like that. Control C, Control Shift V. They suck. Let's go like so. Rotate ZZ. Whatevs. Uh, let's delete all those keyframes and then when we go into object mode there he is all right okay okay we're cooking with gas g x rotate x x 180 rotate x x x x 180 thank you all right period key scale uh let's find our character there he is and then I'm going to grab everything. Control J to join. So it's just one mesh. Okay, Control J to join. So it's one mesh. And then I'm just going to... Oh my goodness, can you stop? Something like this. I'm going to grab this. Shift D. Something like that. And then that's just giving us a little bit of extra pizzazzle and what else i don't really care let's just render do we actually see the characters <coughs> no we do not so i'm going to grab this chap this chap g hold control he can be in here rotate on the z scale u scale rotate z beautiful i you're done you're done i just please just tell me i can see these characters it's all i care about right about now perfect perfect
Oh, no, don't say that to me. No, no, don't say that to me. I should have put that in. You're very right. I should have. Oh, ploppers. That's all right. I'm going to call it a night. Thank you very much for the stream. We How long do we go for? Two hours, two and a bit hours. <laughs> <coughs> That's not bad. I'm fairly happy with what we created in two hours. Um, so this will be available to download the previous version without the characters. We'll be on Patreon hopefully tomorrow. But Marco is cooked and obviously people are starting to come into the stream now. Far out. So hit the subscribe button. Tomorrow's video is a particle add-on. Wednesdays will be another add-on. Friday will be hopefully an Omniverse tutorial. So check that out. So subs subscribe. Hey, do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're a dad. See you. Bye. Thank you. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, that button, that button, that button. <laughs>